Welcome to another release from DNN Show. Today I am proud to announce the release of the Podio integration. And if you are not already familiar, Podio is a platform where you can create your own applications that are targeted for uh, team collaboration or for project management or CRM. And the integration that we did is not with a single module. It actually works with a few of our modules. So it integrates with Action Form. So when you submit form, you can push data to Podio, but you can also retrieve data from Podio, for example, to autocomplete forms. And then it integrates with DNN API endpoint. So you can have your APIs also push data to Podio and get data from Podio. And then it integrates with Sharp Scheduler. So you can run scheduled tasks or tasks that run on events that will push or retrieve data from Podio. And finally, it works with Action Grid. So when you have listings of data, you can have buttons on each item that will communicate again with Podio, pushing, retrieving data, deleting it, doing all kinds of these basic operations. What I will do now, I will go and show you a basic setup, how we can push, for example, leads to a, a Podio application. So I will start by creating a new page. And if you're not uh, uh, familiar yet, what you are seeing now is our other project, Sharp Look. You should definitely try it out. Okay, and now we'll add a uh, for module. And what we will do, we will build a basic um, lead form like we have name, email, and we'll also build a dropdown to select how the person heard about uh, our service, for example. So let's start with a blank form. <coughs> so we have name, We have email and we have a drop down how did you hear about us which has three options Google ads friend so far we only created the four fields now we are about to create a button and on the button, we will wire the new Podio action. <coughs> the Podio action you just install as a separate add-on from host extension. So you install it as you would install a new module. Only it depends on um, our modules being installed. You cannot use it without our modules. So what I will do, I will use the create item action The next things that I need is some form of, of authentication data. And I will show you how to get this. So first we need an application ID and an application token. And al <coughs> alternatively, I think Podio will also work. This integration also works with a username and password. But le let's just use the application ID and application token. So here I am in Podio. I've already created an application leads. And in this application, I just added a for few form fields. I will just show it to you. Yeah, so you, you basically just drag fields here like you do, for example, in action form, like we just did that. And it will create form fields and listing from that, uh, from this setting. So this is basically what I created here is a Podio application. And you see, again, I have the name field, the email field, which are text and then I have a multiple selection, they call it category, which has the three options. But now what I'm actually interested in, in, let's close this application, go back to the main view, is I'm interested to get the application ID and application secret, and I can get that from the application menu from the developer. And here I have an ID and a token. 
so I grab these two and I take the I take them to my application next thing I also need a client ID and a client secret and this actually come from my account so I would have to go under account settings and then um, find the API keys section and here I can generate an API key which gives me a client ID and a client secret so um, don't even think about hacking my account because I just delete this key after I finish this video so let's get back to populate the client ID and the client secret and next thing I can pass some fields to Podio so I, I will pass the name field and here under the value I can write a value or I can just put a token and the token is the value that I submit in the form field yeah, but I could easily just write my name for example I can hard code a value I don't have to use tokens or I can combine them of course and next is the email followed by that long one which I should grab with the clipboard and I think let's see how I called it in um, in my podio application is called referrer so that's it what I just did is I created a form to post a lead to my Podio application and I can also store the result with which is the uh, entity ID so the lead ID let's, let's store it in a token called lead ID this is a name that I'm just giving here but using this name I can reference this data at a later time so for example I could um, run a query so or for example I could put it in the user profile so I could associate one user from my website with a an entry from an application from Podio but for this uh, demo I will just put it in a display message to see that we got the correct ID back and that's it let's just save and test out our simple application I just submitted the form and I get back an ID this should be the ID of the newly created item and let's go to the podio and let's refresh this uh, screen and now you see we have a new listing which should be this one but I just I didn't use a new name but we can look at the creation date so it says that it was created a few seconds ago so this must be the entry and you see how I got the name, the email, and the selection in the drop down, the ads added to this item. So, this way is very easy to link your website or your internet application or whatever system you're building to wire it to a um, to Podio where you can build uh, other management applications like uh, team collaboration application or CRM. In this case, I would build here a CRM. So I have the leads, and next I will follow with other applications like communications and contracts and uh, accounts and stuff like that. So going back to, to my form, you can actually see the rest of the actions where they're in the dropdown, but I just use this simple action to get help you get started. 
So actually, if you look at the Podia integration, there are other actions to create contacts, delete items, get items. So it's a two-way communication. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this new release. And um, thank you for your time. Thank you.